Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I want to talk to you about fall planting of your collards and your kales. These are store-bought. A couple things you want to keep in mind is kale doesn't mind the frost. It can take, you know, a pretty heavy freeze actually. It's uh, September 2nd here. Kale and collards take somewhere between 50 to 60 days to mature. And I did plant some in my garden already that I grew from seed, but I wanted to add more. So I bought these transplants because this really gives me several weeks of growth. So come the end of October, my kale will be ready in my area, Maryland Zone 7. I'll be able to pick these leaves through the end of October and really to the end of November. A couple of things to look for are holes in the leaves. And you can see holes right there, holes right there. When you look around a couple more holes, let's see if I see anything more significant. I handpicked this plant out of a bunch of them too. Um, some of them had more holes. This is pretty good. Uh, the Red Russian Kale didn't have too many, but you want to look for holes because that will let you know that you do have insects eating on the plant leaves. And you don't want to plant these without treating them first. So. When you go to buy transplants, look for any kind of damage. Know that you should probably pre-treat them with a spray. This is a spray that I use pretty regularly now. This is uh, neem oil in here with soapy water. And neem oil is great for killing off chewing insects. And all I'm going to do is spray these down heavily with the neem oil soapy water spray. And this is really to pre-treat them before I put them in the ground. I'll do a video on that. Or actually, I'm going to just attach the video to this one. I like this nozzle too because I can easily spray under the leaves. You definitely want to get under the leaves when you're spraying for chewing insects. But just really soak this down. You can really overdo it. And this will really just get these plants protected for getting into the ground. The other thing you want to look for is uh, the general healthiness. These are nice and green, so they're going to get a drink of uh, liquid fertilizer when they go in, but they are healthy to start. This is the Red Russian. Some of the leaves are starting to get a little bit light, and you can see the massive amounts of roots coming out here. So this probably needs a feeding too. So you want to check for bug damage. You want to check for leaf color. Yellowing leaves usually means the plants don't have enough nutrients. Spray down your plants with a insecticide. I'm using neem and soapy water. You could just use soapy water. Um, you can use any organic treatment, but just put something on there to give them a good start of uh, defense against these insects before you put them in. I'm going to uh, plant these into the garden and I'll to be back. To plant your kale, you want to plant it about 18 to 24 inches apart. If you plant it a little bit closer, like I'm, I sometimes even go 12 inches, but 12 to 18 inches. You're going to get smaller plants with smaller leaves, but I think sometimes they taste a little bit sweeter. The more distance you get, the bigger leaves you'll get. I've planted um, some of the kale down there and some of the collard greens. Uh, one thing I want to show you is in this container, there are three plants right here. You can't plant three kale plants in one space. They're just going to get too big. So you want to break them off. You could pull the plant out, but as you pull the plant out, it rips roots out. And you don't really want to rip the roots of the plant you're keeping, so just try and just break it off like that. And the collards I already put two in in this space. I'm not going to put in any more right here. But you want to look at the plant. It's pretty healthy in the sense that the roots aren't over all overgrown. And when you plant it, you're just going to loosen it up like this so that the roots start poking out in different directions and that will get the plant going nicely. We're going to do a red Russian kale. Here's one right here. When I take this one out, there's a little bit more root growth, a little circling down there. Just gently break it up. Kale's really hardy. You're not going to really hurt it unless you go crazy with it. But just break the root ball up. You can also see there's a nice gap right here. You can plant kale either right at the level, this will thicken up, or up to about here. I'm going to go to about there. When you plant it, just loosen up the hole. This is where I had a bunch of tomatoes. That's a tomato root. You could put in a tablespoon of dry fertilizer, 10-10-10 or something like that, and just mix it in well. I'm not going to do that. There's plenty of fertilizer and stuff in this uh, ground here, and I'm also going to um, give this a liquid fertilizer. But just drop it in 
I'm going to go to about here. Nice loose soil, you know, maybe 18 inches apart. I'll show you the other kale in a second and collards. And that's all you really have to do to get your kale in. I'm going to spray it again, down again with my neem oil and soapy water spray. It's 32 ounces of water, about one teaspoon of soap, and one to two teaspoons of the neem oil. And that will really protect it from insects that may be on it, but also I have that crazy white moth that lays the cabbage looper on all of my greens. All right, let's see if I can do this without shaking everything. And there's the rest of the kale and collards. I also have rabbits that do manage to get in here, so I use this chicken wire, chicken wire um, covering to just cover this up till it gets to size and give it some protection from the uh, rabbits that get into here. Into here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.theristogarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.